you get me what's good everybody welcome back to another video thank you for joining me on lander's youtube channel my name is lario today i'm going to keep it simple i'm going to get into five really cool ways that you can chop samples in fl studio four of them are stock one of them is an external third-party plugin so stay all the way to the end make sure you check out all of them all of these samples that i'm using in this video are from my collection at lander.com you can hit that link down in the description below so yeah without further ado we're gonna hop right into it i made this drum pad already and I'm gonna be chopping the samples to go along with it I chose this sample right here to start out with it's called the profit synth key this is in my collection as well let's just listen to that by itself I didn't time any tempo yet All right, the first one we're gonna try is manual chopping. So if you're gonna do it manual, let's time it into the tempo first. As you can see, this light gray area, it doesn't match the tempo. So we're gonna turn the stretch mode on in the top left, and then we're gonna stretch it. If you hold the Alt key and drag your mouse, it turns that snap off temporarily. Zoom in nice and tight, make sure that you get it perfect. And if you wanna reset the pitch, because now that we stretched it, it reset that pitch. So if you want to reset the pitch, all you got to do is go to the pitch knob and click reset. There's a couple of like little cheats in here if you want to try them out. I like to use this little drop down menu and then you go down to chop and you can go to time based and it'll chop it based on your grid. It'll chop it in bars, beats, half beats, quarter beats, etc. You could try one of these or you can do it manually by chopping them, you know, with the time based ones as well. But I think that I'm going to try this pattern one and let's try Moomba. I don't know what it's going to sound like. <laughs> but that might be too much so you can undo go back to it go to chop let's just try another one of those patterns breakdown i like where that starts right there and then just choose that And then you can go ahead and if you wanted to change up the last bar, you know, you could you could switch it up to make it kind of random. I always just go like and I freestyle. I make it really random until something sounds good. But yeah, that's the first way. The second way I like to chop samples is with a stock FL Studio plugin called Fruity Slicer. You can find it right in this drop down menu in the channel rack. There we go. You could just drag that sample right in on top of Fruity Slicer. And then in the piano roll, it gives you a bunch of chops already. But if you don't like the chops that they give you, you can go into Fruity Slicer. See how it gives you these red lines right here. If you adjust the low and the high as well, if you adjust these knobs, it gives you more. This is a really quick way to chop your samples. And then they automatically assign a key to them in the piano roll. See, that's a quick loop right there. Let's check that out. So yeah, let's move it on. Number three is another stock VST plugin and it's called SliceX. It basically does the same exact thing that Fruity Slicer does, only it's way more in depth. As you can see, it has this window in here that if you're familiar with Edison, it kind of looks like an Edison window. You can uh, adjust the attack, decay, sustain, release. You can get way more in depth with your chops. Just like the other one, you just click and drag and drop it right in. And it's going to find those samples and make its own chops right away. But what's really cool about Fruity Slicer is that you can zoom in here. You can move these chops around manually. Or you can see right here on your keyboard which keys that they go with. So it starts on C. So C5. And then it goes up. And then you can delete these chops. You can rename them if you'd like. You can clone as a region. And then you can click and drag another chop if you wanted to make one more like manual chops. Now I have all these different transients set as a chop. Just like Slicer, you can go into the piano roll, create your own pattern. That's Fruity SliceX or SliceX. So that's number three. Number four is just good old Edison. 
So if you have your samples sent to the mixer, you can go to your mixer channel. If you have Edison open and you can click and drag the sample straight into Edison. So now you have this window in Edison and you can just basically choose whatever chops you want. So you can see these transients if you wanted to just chop these. So you can get really fine tuned in here and just click and highlight that right on that beginning transient. Make sure you get it nice and close. And then once it's highlighted red, you just click and drag it into the playlist. So now we got that chop. I'm going to choose this one next channel rack right underneath that. Make sure you get right up and nice and close. So that way these things loop correctly. Let's try to make some sort of pattern out of it inside the channel rack. Yeah, that's a short one, but it's sweet. So you could just kind of throw those into your playlist. So that's number four with Edison. That's a super manual way to do it. Number five, I just came across this plugin sort of recently. It's amazing, honestly. It's called Serato Sample. Open it up in Channel Rack. So you just drag it right into Serato Sample. You could change the key up in the top, which is fire. Um, this plugin is really just made for sampling. They thought of pretty much everything with this plugin. And then you go to Find Samples down in the bottom, Set Random or you could set slicer, and then it's gonna find the transients as well. Yep, so you can assign all those different pads to different keys on your keyboard, your regular old computer keyboard, your MIDI controller, or your drum pads. I got my sample chops all programmed into my keyboard. I'm not even using my MIDI controller. I'm literally using my computer keyboard here. So what you can do is create an empty pattern in your playlist, stretch it out however long you'd like. Yeah, so let's record. We're going to have to send this instance of Serato sample into the mixer, uh, but let's just give it a listen. Yeah, so I think that pretty much does it. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments below. I'll be answering. I'll be paying attention to all your questions. So if you want to check out my collection, visit the link down in the description below or at lander.com. And uh, yeah, make sure you share this with a friend if you get me.